students in the dorms at Church of the Harvest say they got a 48 hour notice on Tuesday to have everything moved out by 8 o'clock tonight. And they say that came with no warning. There were no text messages, no phone calls, um, no emails. There was nothing, no other kind of contact. Colleen Zelensky is one of many students who got this notice on their door that reads in part, we apologize that we must require this at this time. No one expected the virus and certainly no one anticipated the vicious postings on Facebook. Some were incredibly hurtful, unfair and simply untrue things. This comes after a former intern posted on Facebook about a week and a half ago, calling on the church to shut down. Numerous people shared stories of negative experiences. There's tons of uh, mental abuse, sexual abuse, and finally people are coming forward and it, it's been it's been going on for over 20 years. All of the dorms were rat infested. Um, we had to build our own furniture um, that was supposed to be provided to us. And yeah, it was just filthy going in and horrible living there. Zelensky says at one point there was so much mold in her room it made her sick. She was able to move out on time Tuesday but the abrupt notice left many in a scramble. For a lot of students I feel like they might have just been in a panic. Um, I mean there's furniture, there's belongings like all over the place. She says the move out date was originally at the end of June but that kept being moved up. I thought it was just very disheartening. Um, you know, there it didn't seem like there was a lot of reason to why they might want us off so quickly. In a statement to News 4, a representative for the church says about 80% of students had already gone home beforehand because of the pandemic. The rest needed to leave for safety concerns. It reads in part, this left the dorms, etc. with no oversight, no one to be there to handle the normal operations and lack of security presented a serious concern. They also say they gave extra days for students and parents who called, saying they needed more time. Angela Shen, Oklahoma's News 4.